Hey everyone, I'm Michael Majors. And I'm Ross Muriel. And you're watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. All right, today in the Versus series, we got... Uh, couple brews i guess the the deck i'm playing uh soul type mid-range is is kind of starting to get into mainstream popularity it's something that brad nelson's championed um his friend and teammate alexa top eight of the grand prix this past weekend and uh, i know he convinced a couple other people to play it i think there were probably five or six copies of this 75 in the tournament and it did pretty well so yeah um something that he said is you know good against green white and has a couple other good matchups. Not sure if I believe that part, but <laughs> yeah, it, it looks pretty good. Yeah, certainly filled with powerful cards, and I like the way he is taking the deck. Most of the soul lists we've seen up until now are much more controlling. They're playing dark petition. Maybe they have one season's past, uh, and this list is you know, taken down. Now it's squarely in the mid range. Definitely green black based, only splashing for Dragonlord Salumgar, and uh, a lot more creatures can get onto the battlefield faster, more consistently, and can get a little, uh, a little more aggressive. Pressure your opponent's planeswalkers, yeah, but still has access to it with the uh, great black removal spells and languish. Yeah, exactly. It's got a uh, Oath of Nissa to find your early threats, uh, some bridge removal spells, Grasp of Darkness, Ultimate Price, some Runus Pass, great creatures, Tireless Tracker, Nissa, Sylvan Advocate, and then you uh, top off with. Stealing your opponent's girl with Dragonlord Solmgar, yeah. so that that card's great. Uh, probably extremely underplayed, I think, in standard as a whole. So yeah, and, and, it, uh, and it makes a lot of sense to pair it with a more aggressive shell. Yeah, and one one of the issues with the deck um, was the the strong Gideon draws because you only have a few Brunus paths. You can effectively attack it, but if they curve uh, well into it, Gideon can be an issue. And uh, Dragonlord Solmgar is excellent against Gideon. And one of the, the real key parts of the deck is how good even the cheap cards in the deck are on turn 10. So you are right. you're you have a good curve, you can come out early and you can pressure your opponent, you can punish them for stumbling, but you don't lose any power really in the late game, and you're still drawing really uh, strong, effective cards well into turn 10, turn 15, that can play forever. Yeah, Sylvan Advocate, Nissa Vass with Seer Tyros Tracker are all awesome threats on turn 8 to 10. Uh, Ruinous Path, you can awaken it. That's great. And, uh, you know, you can get some immediate value off, like, the Gitrog Monster. Yeah, I think this, this deck makes sense. Has a lot of creature lands, a lot of resiliency. Uh, Oath of Nissa to kind of push it all together and make it cohesive, so... Haven't played a game with it. We'll see how it goes, but uh, pretty jealous of your deck. You guys can check out the the deck tech on a uh, four color control, aka Crush of Tentacles. How are you against octopodes? Did you confirm that's the plural of octopus? Yeah, it is from Greek, so it would be pluralized that way. That's pretty imposing to yeah. be staring down some octopodes, but yeah, maybe I'll win the die roll and then I can defeat your tentacle. I'm gonna win die rolls all week. I went Have eleven. You? I went eleven two at the Grand Prix. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I got uh, two pair. So do I. Fours and ones. Oh, no, you have the six kicker to my five. It was Ooh, so close. Oh, that's really unlikely, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll play. All right, here for game one. Hand looks pretty good. I'll keep it. I have Mulligan to six, and unsurprisingly, I am missing a color right now, but <laughs> between a scry and a couple of the good cards we have that we can cast, uh, I think we'll be okay. Do you consider missing a color as not having the requisite double? Hmm. Mm. No, but I got I got doubles here. We'll, we'll okay. be okay. Uh, this card's a little expensive for now, so we'll we'll put that one on the bottom. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna lead on this uh, because I can draw tireless tracker to pair with my evolving wilds. So your turn. Ooh, that that wasn't bad. Play prairie stream. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm I'm kind of smart, and I also kind of want to play a three drop on three. This is kind of awkward. Really really coming out of the gates here. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Go. Okay. Uh, that was also awkward. I guess I'll play this island and bluff Silumgar Scorn. I mean, I guess, you know, <laughs> if I didn't know the matchup, that would be pretty reasonable. <laughs> I can't remember the last time someone went Prairie Stream Island against me in Standard. Probably about six months. Yeah, sounds about right. Ooh, that's nice. Um, I'll go ahead and play Nissa Basswood Seer. 
Yeah. That doesn't resolve. I'm not getting scorned. <laughs> no. Okay. Get in the forest. Yep. <laughs> no, fail to find yep. your turn. Uh okay. We're not not quite getting there. Um nice. Hmm. Looking good over there, Ross. Uh, I can just play this. It doesn't really do anything. <laughs> Eh, I'll just reflect your mage of the Nissa. Sure. <laughs> Give Michael some value. Uh, I'll play Tireless Tracker and then sacrifice the Evolving Wilds and get two clues. Your so turn. So many Max McVities. Yep. Max flooded. Uh, this is not going according to plan. Just a really powerful blue white humans draw over there. <laughs> yep. Reflect your mage or Tireless Tracker and attack for two. <laughs> All right. You're at 18. So I am. Getting our beat on. Oh, man. All right. I will play these two cards. Your turn. Okay. Oh, no. I would have taken any land. Uh, I will play a morph creature <laughs> <laughs> and pass the turn. Well, this is something special. <laughs> we're, still, we're still in it. Uh, all right. If you insist. So, um, we have so many cards that I don't really care if our Nissa dies, and I can't cast this on anything and I'd kind of like to just nab the den protector while I can so I how think do you know it's a den protector it could be anything it well if it was like a stratus dancer or a hidden dragon slayer I'd, I'd want to kill it even more what if it's a blistering fire cat well, now you're just wasting my time <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think I'm okay with just be a sacrificing the Nissa fox. when I have tireless tracker in my hand and two clues on the battlefield already so I'm just going to go ahead and Cast a Languish. I hope it's Exalted Angel. Uh, it wasn't Exalted Angel. And then I will play another Sylvan Advocate and pass. Don't want to attack for zero? Okay, there you go. <laughs> <sighs> I was looking over there, champ. Ooh, okay, okay. Back in it! A little, little scared over here. Okay. I think I'm going to play this Elvish Visionary and draw a card. Wow. <laughs> and I'll pass the turn. Okay. Really powerful display of that. <laughs> <laughs> Have everyone poo poos the Elvish Visionary uh, until you lose to it. I will attack you for 14. 14. <laughs> That's a lot. I'll block the 6 6. All right, take 8. I'm a 12. Go. I think it's just better to put a ton of pressure on Ross than to play Tireless Tracker and make more clues. Uh, um, I guess that's actually pretty good. I'll play an Oath of Nyssa. Okay. Uh, there we go. I'll find this forest. Okay. I'll play this forest. What does that mean? I'll play a Surge to Crush of Tentacles. All right, that's not bad. All right, I'll sacrifice a clue. Yeah, still getting one of those clues. That's value. Octopus. Uh huh. That's a monocolored creature, right? Mm -hmm. It's just blue. Huh. Just want to confirm. It, it kind of looks sort of. He's like reddish and he's got some silver stripes. That looks like two colors to me. Okay. So it's still blue, right? Mm -hmm. If you say so. <laughs> um, so I can play Sylvan Advocate and attack for four after ultimate pricing the Octopus, or I can just take this turn to really build my board, and I think that's better. So I'm just going to vomit my stuff onto the table and get two clues. Your turn. Two clues? That's so many. Okay. I will attack for eight. So I can double block with Sylph Navigate and still be presenting lethal next turn. 
Or I can just take 8 down to 10. Um, don't think there's... So we can get, like, Descend Upon the Sinful. And I guess that's really the only reason to hold back. Or, excuse me, to, uh, to double block. But then again, Frost is attacking. It's probably what he has, because it's the only reason he would attack. So I'll just double. Okay, one of your things does. So I could buy some time with this. Michael could still attack me for... Appears like eight. Eight? Yeah. Oh, if you just crush me. I'm just going to cast Descend. All right. Get him out of here. You can go. All right. That's not bad. Um, I think I'd rather just crack a million clues this turn than hit Ross for two. Because that'll just put me way up on cards, and it'll probably be pretty difficult to lose, even if he has another catch-up spell. So I will play Tireless Tracker. I'll crack a clue now before I play a land, get a trigger. That's interesting. Uh, I still think it's better just to have the option to sacrifice two clues rather than deploy this this turn. So I'm going to make a clue. I guess I could have sacked and tried to hit an Evolving Wilds, but I don't really think that matters. So your turn. Interesting. I think I'm going to start on this Oath. Yep. And I will find a Prairie Stream. Okay. I'll play Jace and I'll bounce the Tireless Tracker. Pass. All right. Sag clue. Yep. Sag clue. Um, three cards in hand. Yep. Five, six, seven. There's so many cards. I do. I've sacrificed so many clues. That hardly seems fair. I've enjoyed it. I think just getting Jace off the battlefield and hitting Ross down to eight is the best thing we can do. So just go ahead and ruin his path with Awaken. Till Don't want him to get any traction. So This also puts some pressure on him. Uh, don't want to target a Quagmire, since they're kind of at a premium. I'm at 8. And go ahead. Okay. In a bit of a... A pickle? In a, yeah. I, in, a, in a pickle. Uh, let's see if we can find something sweet with this oath. That's a lot of cards. So I'm, I'm definitely going to cast this. The question is how best setting this up. And I th think... Um, uh, I think I'll just discard these two. So Vegetation and, and Oath. Okay. Surge of Crush of Tentacles. Sure. That doesn't get bounced. It's not online permanent. Oh, right. Oh, okay, you're dead. Price. Yeah. yeah, you have eight. Yep. 